Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. How's everybody doing today? I don't see a green light here. There's my green light. Yay! Okay, hop on. Say hi. Rose Ward here, stampersdelight.com. And how are you today? Okay, so a couple of things. I'm going to jump right in. Um, I do have some free giveaways later, but a couple of things I wanted to go over first. Don't forget that it's celebration, celebration time. So for every $50 or $100 order, you get to pick something out of our catalog, our celebration catalog, which I'll go over in a minute. I also want to remind everybody, if you join Stampin' Up! in my team right now, you'll get, and I always look the opposite way, this beautiful bag. You can get this beautiful bag. Okay, good morning, Megan. Good morning, morning, Linda. Okay, I know I'm on now. Okay, so you can get this gorgeous tote, which carries a lot of stuff. I bring it over here, but I got it filled with things. Okay, so if you want more information on joining my team and getting this lovely tote, let me know. Okay, um, also a couple of quick things, and I, I didn't have time to print everything out, but I just want to tell you that the second release of Celebration or Celebration will be February 15th. Um, we always send out a second release with new product in there that you can get for free. Um, I don't have the printout yet. I will upload that to my blog, stampersdelight.com, later on. And also, uh, in March, there's going to be a special called Celebration Coordination. Okay, so watch for that. Um, I think I can share this printout that I printed out. So but I'm not 100% sure yet, so I don't want to do something wrong, okay? So um, let me check into all of that, and I will put this on my blog later. Okay, so for today's video, what I decided to showcase was the Climbing Roses, and that's a bundle with the Rose Trellis. Hi, yes, thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing my videos. Don't forget to share because I will pull another name on Sunday night for another free giveaway. Okay? All right, so let's get started. Okay, so again, Rose Ward, stampersdelight.com. That's my January host code, so forget that because it is February 1st. I'll have a new host code on the website um, later today. Okay, but all you have to do is remember stampersdelight.com. Okay, so again, the roses, climbing roses with the rose trellis, thinlet dies. That's what I'm showcasing today. Now you can find this on page nine of the occasions catalog. Okay. And what I've teamed that up with today because they're running short, you want to get in and get your Grapefruit Grove and Lovely Lipstick Foil Sheets. And I'll bring those in in a moment and show you. That's on page 12. These are absolutely gorgeous. So let me show you this. Thing. You can see the stamp set. Most of those are already um, mounted, so I'm not going to open that up. But let me show you these um, Thinlets, and I have to tell you, whenever I use thinlets, you know, when I get this, there's always one or two I don't use, right? I used every single one in here. So the first one, of course, is the trellis. And then you have your one, the, the framelit for your words. You have this big one here, which cuts out your flowers there. You have the little rose, which cuts out this one. Then you have this beautiful one right here, and you'll see what I did with that, too. It gives it a very, very thin look, okay? Oh, thank you. Nice. You like my new grid paper? Yes, it's so springy. And then you have two different leaves. I actually have samples of everything today. So let's just put this back here. So the first thing I'm going to jump right in and show you some samples because I know you like the samples okay so if you watched my YouTube video this is just a quick easy card I did with two-tone coloring if you don't have the blends you can go ahead and use your Stampin' Right markers and what I did was I put some Daffodil Delight inside the roses and then I colored with the pineapple punch I did the same thing with the green I used Old Olive, then Pear Pizzazz. And it gives it that two-tone 
kind of like a blends. The blends, I, I mean, the blends are just for that, to blend together. But the thing about this that's nice is blends go through your paper that bleeds because it's alcohol. These do not. So if you want to do a two-tone uh, coloring, you can do it with your markers. Okay, so this was just a quick, easy card I did. Let's see, where should I put that? Over here. Okay, then I stepped it up a notch, and I used my framelit for the words. And what I did was I cut that out right here. Save the tag, of course, for another card that you'll see. And then I stamped that on the inside. So it's the same card that I just showed you, but I stepped it up a notch. The next card I want to show you, and now we're getting to my favorites, is using the trellis with the Grapefruit Grove. Isn't that gorgeous? See how it shines? And then there's that rose, so we use this one. And then the stuck on my magnet sheet here. And I have those to show everybody again, too. And I wanted, a, I wanted a background on the white, but I wanted something very subtle. So that is the linen, and I don't even know if you can see it, but that's the linen embossing folder. And, of course, our new ribbon, which is in the Occasions catalog, the Petal Pink. Oh, thank you, Win Ann. Win Ann likes that tip about the markers. So, and then I popped that up on some dimensional so it gave it, a, you know, a 3D effect. And then this one, I just want to show you something because this is a great set. Okay, this is strong and beautiful. Perfect for any woman, friend, um, Mother's Day. This one I ha happened to make into a Mother's Day card. But these are some great sayings. It's one of my favorite new sets. That is also in the Occasions catalog. So this one I use the Sending Love for the, with the uh, Climbing Roses, but I used a, a saying for Mother's Day inside. God made you my mother, love made you my friend. Happy Mother's Day. So this is for my mom for Mother's Day. I know it's a ways off, but it, hopefully it'll be here before we know it and spring will be here. The next one I did with was with some of the um, gingham paper. Again, the Grapefruit Grove. And then I cut this out. And this one I did use the blends on shimmery paper. I used a lot of shimmery paper with this. It just seemed to go together. And then our Calypso Coral Ribbon. And then I did, I put on the outside I thought of you today. And this might be a birthday card. I didn't stamp the inside. I did do a little flower in here, though. And again, I'll have still shots of these. Now, another one I did, absolutely love this. This is with our dynamic folder, and I wrote all this down. I think I put it on here. Dynamic folder is on page 11 of the Occasions catalog. And again, I cut out that framelit and stamped on the card, in, not inside, but another layer. And then I could use the tag for something else. That'll probably be my next YouTube video. The thing I wanted to point out was when you're tying a bow, it's, you know, it's trying for me anyway. But this one came out so cool. Look at this. It came out with a flapped ribbon piece here. I couldn't do that again if I tried. But look at the way that ribbon tied. It's very, very thin, easy to work with, and it's just beautiful. And then, of course, I put some self-adhesive se sequins on there. And again, I left this one blank because I'm not sure what I want to put on the inside of these yet. But again, I'll bring that up so you can see it. And again, it's with the shimmery paper. The next one I did everything white, white on white except for the saying. So here's what I did. I used the embossing folder, used the shimmery, this is all shimmery white, the trellis, our dotted ribbon from the large, the annual catalog, and this is the polka dot tool. And then you see I used the framelits for the leaves. I did some in vellum and some in the shimmery white. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Sending love. And again, this could be a wedding card or an anniversary card. So I'm not sure if I have any weddings coming up. So I didn't want to quite stamp anything yet. But look at that. All white except for the Mary Merlot saying. 
Okay, and I'm watching to make sure my green light's still on. So now I'm going to show you a panel card. I have several um, different uh, samples, <laughs> and this is what I'm going to be showcasing. Okay, so this is a panel card using our pout, uh, whoop, petal pink. Let me just make sure. Yeah, petal pink. And then the rose trellis bundle. And it opens like this. This would be the first panel. And then this is the next panel. Now, if you noticed, I used that. Remember I said when you cut this out to make that, you save that tag. And I used it on the inside. Now, I used it the opposite way. And again, I'll have still shots of these. So this is a panel card. And I am going to give you the measurements. How do you like that? And then, of course, the sequence. Another one that I did was using that foil paper through the embossing folder with the lovely lipstick. This one I did like, um, not like, I say that all the time. I did it so that you could only, you know, you only want to glue this part down and leave that hanging off, and I'll show you why. When you open the next panel, it's got the Happy Mother's Day in there, and that hangs off, but that, when you open it up, it hides this part of the roses until you're opening it up the whole way. So you see what I mean? It goes like this. And this is another Mother's Day card, so this one will be for my mother-in-law. The one I'm going to be showing today is with vellum. So this is white. This is vellum. I already embossed it in white. And then, uh, again, I used the Wonderful Romance um, vellum paper from that designer series. And when you open it up, you got the trellis there. And then you got the saying there. This I made into a sympathy card. Okay, so are you ready to see how I did this? Okay. So let me bring in my paper and all my pieces that I already have done. Let's just bring this in here. I don't want to lose anything. Oh, got to move this. Sorry, I know I'm moving my camera. But I had it sitting on my card. Okay, so for the first thing that you want to do, I'm going to give you, this is the piece of uh, vellum that I already embossed. All right, so let's get my directions here. And I will put these on the Facebook Live later and also on my blog. You're going to need for the, the vellum or whatever your inserts are going to be. These are your inserts right here, okay? Those are the three pieces, the inserts. You're going to need all four. All three of them are five and a quarter long. You're going to need one that's one and a quarter, two and a quarter, and two and three quarters. Okay, again, I'll put these on the blog and the Facebook page later okay so you're gonna need that and then whatever you're gonna decorate it with the panel itself panel card itself I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer <coughs> excuse me <coughs> you're gonna need whatever your base is gonna be this happens to be the shimmery white and it's five and a half well, let me put it down here five and a half by eleven now make sure you have your cutting blade down at the bottom because you're going to need to score this. And you're going to score it at one and a half. Three inches. I actually got a swap like this in, in, uh, from on stage. And this is where I fell in love with it. So it's one and a half, three inches, five and a half, Make sure I got this right so I do it right. Five and a half. And then swing the arm out and do one at eight inches. And for some reason, I'm looking at it and it looks strange to me. But I think it's right. <laughs> okay, so now what you want to do is, and somewhere on here is my bone folder. You want to just fold those score lines. back and forth. It looks almost like a pleated, I could call it a pleated 
fold card too because you see how it's pleated that's all there is to it pretty cool huh okay now you really want to use your bone folder there it is and really get nice crisp edges on this okay so it I actually had mine underneath the here for a while so it would flatten out then you're going to bring in now I'm going to cheat only for time's sake no I shouldn't cheat should I okay not going to cheat that's not the right way to do things okay so let me bring in my take your pick tool and for this I'm going to use I use glue dots for vellum just because snail shows through now these glue dots are from my paper pumpkin so that's why they're on a sheet instead of a roll when you buy them they come in a roll I'm watching my green light here and I'm just gonna flick that off flick that one off this is what takes the most time okay I'm gonna bring this in And just lay that on the first whoop, the first panel. You might want to put a couple extras on there. I'm not going to only for time's sake. I'm going to take the second panel and do the same thing. Normally what I would do is put like one there too. And I'm going to have all these little pieces all, all over the place here. But I'll just throw those on the floor and vacuum them up later. The larger the piece, the more glue dots you want to put down there come on this is the hardest thing watching me do something that's very simple right but it's a good tip you know you want to use something like the glue dot so you don't show through the vellum and then we're gonna lay that right Oop, there's a piece back there I don't want that I'm gonna lay that one right there and then the third piece, and you can do this with cardstock. You can do it with um, the foil paper, like I showed you. And I'll bring those samples back in when I'm done. And again, they'll be on the blog and on Facebook when I'm done. Okay, still showing green. That's good. Okay, and I'm gonna put the third panel in there. Now, for the next part of it, of course, I did the um, vellum paper, and then I colored. And when you do vellum, you want to color the back side. Now, this is you're doing with regular Stampin' Right markers. And I tried to get the same color as the um, flowers on the vellum paper. Okay, so, and you don't have, you can be real, I mean, you don't have to stay in the lines. That's what's so cool about this, because it gives it like a muted tone. So, it's kind of cool that you can do it this way. I'm going to just do all of those. And the big one, I'm just going to, now this is the petal pink. This is the way to go if you're really not crazy about coloring. And then you could flip it around and see. Very, very slight coloring. And then I just want to use a little bit of the fresh fig, which is very kind of dark, but and it also takes a little longer to dry. Remember to let your vellum paper dry. Otherwise it will smear. And while those are drying, I'm just going to bring in my pear pizzazz. And just do this I also want to mention if you join Stampin up in my team before February 28th you have you can go to on stage did you know that I'll be in Atlantic City I can't wait we're gonna make it a little girls weekend we're going Friday and stay until Sunday I'm just gonna put some green leaves here I'm just gonna put some of that here belongs to the flower which I forgot so we'll just bring that pink back in and you see that I don't have to be perfect with this because you're not going to see everything through the vellum and there was one piece of pink that I forgot there it is right there so 
some people, sometimes you make a mistake and you might uh, color on this side. It's still okay. There's my flower. That's going to go on the top. Before I do that, though, I'm going to go ahead and put this white trellis in. Now, let me show you how I did that with a piece. This is the pieces I used. This is our adhesive sheets. They come 6 by 12. They're on page 213 of the large catalog, the annual catalog. So here's a piece, a strip that I did, and it's about two and a half by 12. You peel this off. I'll show you a little trick to doing this too when you have a long piece like that. First of all, you need to make sure your nails aren't too long. <laughs> okay, and you're gonna peel this. Okay, and here's your sticky part. So what I do is I take what I want to stick it to and I line that up right there. It doesn't have to be exact to the end and I pull this off. And see, it's, I'm, I got it going off a little bit, but that's okay as long as I get most of it on there. Okay, so then when I pull this through the big shot, this part comes off and it's going to be sticky on both sides. To show you what I mean, and you can do it with the foil paper too. To show you what I mean is that's how I did it. Here's the white trellis, okay? And I have that sheet on the back side, so I'm just gonna flick this off. Just, all you need to do is grab one little piece, thing. And when you have a, working with a uh, intricate detailed die like that, this is great because this whole thing is sticky now. That I'm gonna put right here. My saying, I'm going to put right here. <clears throat> this one, I'm going to make a thank you card using the stamp set that, you know, the climbing roses. So I'm going to bring in my petal pink. And the tag that I already cut out. Stamp thank you. And I'm going to go ahead and snail that down right inside there. Okay. And then you can sign it, of course. So it closes like that. Now for this one, I don't want, because you can see through it, I don't want those blobs of fresh fig showing through. So I'm kind of angling this. So I know I want it right here. Again, if I use snail, it's going to show through. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue dots on there instead and you see where I'm putting them right on the darker color so they don't show through I do have to put one in the middle let's get that out of the way again later today while I'm on the computer I will put all the measurements down and bring that back in and I'm just going to angle that and there's your panel card now what I wanted to do also to give it a little nicer look I'm going to bring in my sequins and I think I'll bring in the petal pink ones I'm going to close that up and just randomly put some of these on the front and then I like them on the trellis so put a couple on the trellis here and then maybe one or two here there we go okay and there you have it there's a panel card Oh, thank you, Fran. Thank you, Pam. Good morning, Joanne. Hi, Karen. And there you open it up. And there's your panel card. So I think I went over everything. I hope you enjoyed the cards. I'll bring them back in so I can show them to you again. And then I'm going to pick the winners of my giveaway, which I haven't done in a while. Okay, here's another one. Okay, so these will be on the blog. Bring in this one, 
And again, these are all pieces to the um, framelits. And this is the designer series paper from Wonderful Romance, too. It's absolutely gorgeous. Here's another panel card. Using this embossing folder, look at the detail in this embossing folder with the foil paper. So run, don't walk. Place your orders so you can get this foil paper. I didn't even look this morning to see if it was on back order. It was getting low. Okay. And again, the way I did that one was like a three effect. And there you can see the roses. And then, of course, the one I did all in white, except for the Mary Merlot saying. Oh, sorry, Ginny. Ginny says that she's in Michigan. Oh, my gosh. I thought New York was bad. This one I thought of you today. This is an absolutely gorgeous set. You could use it for just about anything. Again, bringing it in with the foil paper. The sheet was the the sheet of paper was five and a half by eleven. Karen, five and a half by eleven. So it's not a half a sheet. It's actually a little bit more than a half a sheet. And I will be putting the um measurements down probably within the next hour or two this is another one and you see i put the ribbon here too i forgot to mention that a little banner type and then my two quick and easy ones so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the card let me flip back here hi and i will be putting everything on the blog shortly okay so let me pick the names of the winners, and somewhere in this mess is my little giveaway bags. One was going to be for Facebook Live, and the other is for YouTube. So let me get my random thing on my computer here. First one I'm going to pick is for Facebook Live, who shared my video and commented, and that is Betty Meeker. Betty Meeker. So, uh, Betty, if you send me your address, I will send that to you. Okay, let's see what else we have here. And I have one more. Let's see who this is. This one is for the YouTube. Whoever subscribed recently or left me a um, message, a comment, okay? Whether you subscribed six months ago, as long as you left me a comment. Okay, and the winner of this is... Rebecca Bullock. So, Rebecca, I need your address. So, I get, these are my two little giveaways. You can see these little ink spots in there. I, girls, give me your, send me your address so I can send them out to you. I will be doing another giveaway on Sunday, 7 p.m. I will be here, so, Sunday, 7 p.m. So, don't forget to share my video, leave me comments, and also leave comments on my YouTube page, and subscribe to my YouTube page because I do exclusive videos on there that's stampersdelight.com on youtube so i hope you enjoyed my panel card <laughs>